To begin the assembly of your flaps, um, as always, I've got all the parts unwrapped, deburred, um, cleaned, and dimpled where necessary. So for this particular step, not yet reflected in the build manual, uh, there are some holes to be dimpled on the kind of the top crest area of all your ribs here going across the flap. And that's to avoid any interference between the trailing edge of your wing skin and that uh, flap crest. Because as I mentioned in the wing assembly, um, there's a very tight gap between the two of them. And you don't want those rivets to have any interference with uh, that trailing edge wing skin. So you can see here, it's basically the four rivet holes on the top of all of the uh, ribs, not including the overlapping skins. Um, the only exception to that is there are five dimpled holes on this particular rib, and that's uh, this one here. So it's just the five center holes that are dimpled, and um, there's the image up in the top here that uh, you can reference for exactly which holes need to be dimpled. Um, and of course, on the skin and the corresponding rib, you'll dimple it with a four millimeter rivet because the holes are punched for 3.2 millimeter rivets, uh, not dimpled, so you will need to enlarge that to four millimeter countersunk uh, rivets. So let's begin assembling some of the ribs that, that have external components, and uh, we'll begin the assembly of the flap. So here are the ribs that have some uh, assembly to do before we install it into the skins. Um, the main one to make note of is rib two here. Uh, it's ribs two and three. Uh, you can see that there are four rivets already installed here. Um, you need to especially install these three front rib, uh, rivets before you put this control bracket into place. Because as you can see, once this is riveted in place, you no longer have access to these and you won't be able to do it from the other way either because the tails will interfere with this, uh, this control bracket here. So make sure to shoot these rivets uh, first and then we can move forward and rivet the rest of the assembly here. Um, and here's a little bit of a close up of the dimple detail. So it's just the top four and this is consistent with basically all of the ribs. Um, uh, across so I'm not going to show them all but so it's these top four here with not the front one and uh, then these four so then with rib three it's these four um, rib five is the really only exception to that and it's all five of these holes going along here like this so once again always this very front hole is going to be your overlapping skins and the the leading edge there so these don't get dimpled but uh, these five do and also not the back one. So um, yeah, so then the rest of the ribs are fairly straightforward. Um, you know, you've got rib six here, uh, very straightforward, and rib eight here, um, same thing. So there's nothing really to look out for. Uh, once again, dimple detail the four here, always the four here on all of the uh, full ribs. So uh, now we can move to, I'll finish riveting this part together, and then we'll move on to installing the skins. Okay, so now we have all the ribs and rib assemblies clicoed into position on the flap skin. And um, the way I do this is I start by clicoing the underside, uh, just because this front edge rolls uh, kind of over the rib on the underside here. So it's easier to just position the rib underneath and put the clicos in place. Um, I wait to do these ribs, uh, ribs two, three, and four here. Um, until the very end because, before I flip it anyway, because they have the control bracket here that protrudes from the top skin as well. And just while you're opening and closing that skin, just to avoid this constantly uh, hitting the top edge of your flap skin there, uh, I just wait till the end to do those. Um, you could do it either way, it's probably not an issue. Um, so then I flip the assembly and I click the rest into position. So just as with the aileron, uh, we're not going to rivet our leading edge uh, just yet. And we're also not going to rivet the uh, couple rivets uh, up the front of the, the rib here. Uh, once again, that kind of uh, allows a little bit of flexibility and we'll rivet those into final position on the wing. And uh, once again, that's going to be in another video. So 
we'll, we'll uh, go ahead and rivet this assembly together and I'll show it at the end exactly which rivets to leave off and the flap will be complete for now. Okay, so we've now completed the flap for this portion of the project. Um, as you can see, this is uh, similar to the aileron. It's a very uh, straightforward, uh, rewarding step in the build. Um, let me rotate it around here. And uh, so the rivets to leave off for this part of the step is um, all of the, the overlapping skins here as well as the first two holes past that on all of them. Um, with the exception, this one has the first three. Uh, it's really not super critical. Just leave a couple of those rivets off so that we, we maintain some flex in the assembly, as you can see here. So that way, when we do align everything onto the wing, we can get the perfect straight edge from the root of the wing all the way to the wing tip. Um, so yeah, uh, see the uh, flaps and ailerons final finishing video for those details and uh, for now, this step's complete.